me and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. I'm Lady of Islands. Well, I'm on my way to the Belt Beltane Festival. I've got my makeup on. And, uh, Gamadi Fine, I'm thinking. <laughs> so, Beltane. It's that time of the year when uh, things start to heat up, not only in the earth, but uh, also animals and uh, people. It's when uh, it's said that uh, the goddess and god start to look at each other in a more in a more sexual way, um, in a more um, playful way. Um, it's where the uh, the god has now uh, his horns have started to develop, and uh, it's uh, it's time to it's time to use them. Uh, it's when uh, the goddess is the most fertile. It is about the union of the masculine and the feminine and it is uh, the, the festival and uh, the time of year and many of the, the outward manifestations that are used uh, in celebrating this time of the year uh, is to uh, commemorate and to um, try and understand that masculine and the feminine coming together, the uh, Hero Scamos, the uh, Divine Wedding. And uh, we remember that this is something that should be, be taking place internally, uh, even though we uh, have symbols of, of this, the masculine and the feminine. We have uh, the games of the, the goddess and god being played out, uh, the uh, fertility rites, uh, if you will. Uh, it is ultimately the process that uh, should be going on within yourself, the, the union of the masculine and the feminine energies, the, uh, the bringing into balance of those, um, moving away from um, one side or the other, the, uh, the polarity of, of the masculine, the polarity of the, the feminine, and bringing those into that, that dance, bringing it together to... Uh, to form that magic because when you bring the masculine energies and the feminine energies together that is when uh, the third is made that is when the, uh, the magic happens and uh, so this is the time it's a fun time I enjoy Beltane it's fun it's starting to warm up it's not too hot and, uh, and uh, you just feel the the aliveness and the awakeness of the earth and of people in general. So we're going out into the wilderness today. Uh, it's not going to be any, any backyard ceremonies. We're going into into the wild. Not too wild. It's still still kind of in the uh, in the metro area. But. Uh, Hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit of filming for you so you can have a little bit of see the setup. The, uh, the weather is, is not quite what you would consider Beltane weather. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit rainy and it was quite, raining quite a bit this morning. And uh, we just had a little smattering of rain now so hopefully it won't be too wet and, uh, and dreary because at all. I'm sure the the gods will will part the clouds and let the sun shine just a little bit. It will be fine. So I will see you in a little while uh, with a little bit more Beltane fun. I hope you enjoy. Professor B. Well, walking down towards the, uh, the circle, a bit of jumpiness about that. Uh, it's a little darker, a little bit of a little bit of clouds, but looks like it's clearing, which is good. Uh, we are in a little area that is kind of close to the. Uh, you can hear in the background, unfortunately, um, some some cars. 
uh, but uh, it's kind of like a little oasis in the middle of the uh, middle of the city, uh, looking very very etheric, I think. <laughs> uh, and uh, as you can see behind me, a bit of the bush, a bit of the uh, wilderness. So we're going to be out and uh, doing a little bit of howling at the moon. So it should be interesting. Let's be. So coming up to the circle, so we've got a few people there doing a bit of setting up and uh, getting bits and pieces ready. So you can see it's quite nice out. Out in the wilderness we've got a purpose it's a purpose built amphitheatre. And you can see bits and pieces. We've got the altar. Nice. 